I be served out like me on the London Charter Mandover? What is up, everybody? This is the Ward Face. I apologize for the weird intro. I just found this lady singing in the park near where our thing was, and I don't know. I just felt like zooming in on her face and having her sing. I, it doesn't make much sense. But we are here. We are kicking off sequence eight in this one. Uh, we got a stranger request that a blighter captain or one of the leaders of the blighters wants to speak to us. Um, I don't think it's one of the leaders of the blighters. I think it is the leader of the blighters. So uh, we'll have to see what this is. I'm not exactly sure where the game is going to take us from here. Uh, I'll be completely honest because um, I didn't think we were going to have to play sequence eight. I didn't know if it was like an optional sequence or something because it could it, or it would have let us play it defend civilian. I think I can do this one. Did I defend you, sir? I'm here to have a nice word with your boss, and you're going to attack me on the street. This is what happens before I start every episode. I just end up murdering people. I apologize. It's not my fault. Well, it's actually completely my fault. What are you going to do about it? I can't help it. I apologize. Um, but yes, whatever I was saying before. Um, oh, the way this works. Um... Because, like, since Sequence 4, I've been able to skip to Sequence 8, and I didn't know why. And now that we've started Sequence 8, only one mission popped up for it. So, we'll have to see where this goes. Strange Bedfellows. Jacob accepts Maxwell Ross's invitation to meet. What's that in the picture? A lot of dynamite in the picture. I'm a little bit scared of that. Uh, did I just say a scared? I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little... Oh my lord. What am I, four years old? I'm a little scared. Hmm. Better check the back. Okay, so this is already... This is already incredibly, like, sketchy. Maybe he doesn't want to see the rival gang leader go through the front door. Hello, sir? I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. <laughs> you should be on the stage, sir. This way. No thanks. I have my own. That was a good quote. Good for you, Jacob. I gotta give you a hand in that. That's... That's an impressive comeback. See, I, I really, really don't like the way this is going so far. The fact that it's making us walk over here and not actually just starting a cutscene makes me feel like it's a trap. Ah, our honored guest has arrived. Hello. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite. Magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Starrick, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Staric some pain? Well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> Lewis! My carriage. Shall we? Hey, no drinking and driving. Okay, so can you tell your men to stop attacking me? That would be pretty cool. Well, I actually bought the thing that they stop attacking me, but... The two... This way. Members... The two head members of rival gangs probably shouldn't be... Oh, you don't expect just, like, having alone, fun and, like, friends with each other. Take the rapids. Driver, 
Hunters and Vanquers. And don't spare the horses. I thought you and Staric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, oh, you know. He required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jacob. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Staric and Co. Uh oh. And you intend to steal it? What? What, what are we doing? Is this dude like an assassin too? Why does he know this stuff? What happened to his There's face? A train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starek's merchandise. Leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station. Okay. This is where we're supposed to be, right? <laughs> yes, okay, we're going down here. I thought that it was gonna make us like go and do this mission. I was like, why are you having me like kill your own people? I'm guessing we're supposed to be hiding on this, not oh, crap. I feel like I didn't do that correctly. I should have been on the train itself. Crap. <laughs> oh, look how. We don't want any broken bones tonight. Look how many enemies there are. Watch nothing spills. Finally, we can take out those bloody fry twins. No, you can't. Get a move on. We haven't got much time to get this shipment sorted. Someone take care of this! Why is there, like, so many people here? <laughs> oh crap, it looks like we're fighting. Did I light it? Nope. Oh my lord! Someday you blighters will understand that I'm. Did I survive that? Good. Why did I ever think that was a good idea? I threw a voltaic bomb at my feet when I was next to dynamite. Oh my lord! Sometimes I feel like I need to get my brain checked. Are we just gonna get into a fight? I'll fight if you want. Are these guys tougher than me? I think they are. Ah, I got too good of weapons, I think. Oh, chain kills are so nice. Reload quickly. As much as it would have been cool to sneak past all these guys, I haven't gotten to a big fight in a while, and I just want to fight people, I think. I'm gonna 
shoot me from close range? Who does that? Except for me three seconds ago. With that lady. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I threw a Voltaic Bomb at my feet. <laughs> that was the dumbest. I do a lot of dumb things in Assassin's Creed. That was the dumbest in a while. These guys don't even stand a chance. Whoa! Don't throw bombs at it. How did I not die to that Voltaic bomb? Two down. Be ashamed to stop now. That's like the most gruesome kill. We're Jacob, who cares if we get seen? We're supposed to just like battle people out in the streets. Oh, this guy's like one of those gold plated name guys. You guys don't realize today I was looking for a fight. Oh, more people coming for me? No. Oh my lord, that guy's got hops. Ah, oh, you're lucky. I feel too lazy. Okay, somebody's doing like a laugh that sounds like the Bioshock like vending machine laugh and I don't know where it's coming from. That dude. That's a fact. My brother is dead because of a rock attack. Yeah. And now your boss is working with us. I just realized. Well, actually a lot of the people we were getting in this mission, I guess were Templars technically. I think like all the people here are Templars. Watch out, sir. Right past you, there's dynamite about to explode behind me. That was a little bit too close to comfort. I apologize for the incredibly violent episode today. <laughs> But you know what? Sometimes you just have to have like one of these big fighting episodes. It's too much fun. That's why I like fell in love with Assassin's Creed. Just the fact that you can like run around and fight people constantly. That should be the last main dynamite, I think. There's a couple like things over here. Now to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. I don't know. I, I murdered everybody else. Kidnap the driver. You're coming with me. Oi! Get your bleeding hands off me. Yeah. What do you think you're up to? Hush now, please. Do be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. Yeah, don't try to run away from us. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. Right, I'll help you. Those are enemies. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. Are they not attacking me? Oh no, it's just I'm just with this guy. Don't worry about me. Go, 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 go. Stop trying to get away. You just said you'd he just agreed to help me and then he's trying to get away. What's happening over there? Can I go down there? How do I get across? Oh man, am I gonna really have to run all the way across again? Oh. Get Roger. You'll be 
Oh, it looks like we got in a fight uh, trying to bring him across. He's not running at least, that's a good thing. Let's uh, make this easy and just shock everybody. I really like Voltaic Bombs. I don't know, these guys are really tough to fight. Oh. I've created too much noise. I need to keep a low profile. Have I? I like how I just punched him in the face for no reason. Bleeding hands off me. What do you think you're up to? Hush now, please. Do be quiet, sir. No need we already to went over this. Shortcut. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. You better help me. Right, you already agreed to I'll it once. You. Can I Don't hurt can me. I sneak through here? Think of me as another passenger. I just nope. happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. <laughs> so I'm trying to get away. Oh my god. This, this the last couple missions I've done has just not gone well. Drive. Would you be so kind as to get up some steam? Now, the thing I'd be worried about most if I stole a train is that there'd be, like, a train coming in the opposite direction. Because a head-on-head -head train collision doesn't seem like the best thing to me. I could be wrong. I mean, I've never experienced it. So I apologize if uh, head-on train collisions are a good thing. From what I can tell, they're not. Oh, the Master Assassin outfit looks so cool. Splendid! Starrick will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. That was kind of strange. So we are now friends with the Blighters? I guess not. Probably. They're probably just going to still attack me in the street. But we're friends with the head of the Blighters. Which is kind of cool. Use the moving train. And of course we didn't destroy all the dynamite by igniting it. Di I cannot speak. I apologize. Uh, we, can, we did not destroy all the dynamite by igniting it. Because I threw a Voltaic Bomb at the ground. And almost killed myself. But let's see if this takes us anywhere. I wonder if more missions are going to pop up. Or how does this work? Okay, so we got a new outfit. Like, okay, I do see that at least one mission has popped up. What do we have now? Um, did I... Just a matter of finding it, I guess. Mission. Okay, so it's right back in the same spot. Triple theft. Okay, so it just I guess it's just giving us like one mission at a time in this one. I've earned a skill point. Um, I'll probably, actually, 11 skills. I'll probably get one more. And then we can, I think, level up after this, which would be cool. I'd like to reach level 8 before we have to go into the final missions. But it is definitely winding down. Staric seems like he's going to be our target for this one. Uh, so we'll have to see where this one takes us. Uh, I, I hope you guys have been enjoying this as we wind down. Um, probably only a few episodes left, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.